Good morning. Welcome to Apple Park. We're glad you could join us for what promises to be an action-packed and memorable WWDC. Vision OS 2 is a great release with some big updates. Let's start with photos. With just the tap of a button, advanced machine learning derives both a left and right eye view from your beautiful 2D image, creating a spatial photo with natural depth that looks stunning on Vision Pro. Now you can just hold your hand up and tap to open home view. Or flip your hand over to bring up time and battery level and tap again to open control center giving you quick access to frequently used features like notifications and Mac virtual display. iOS 18 is a big release that delivers more ways to customize your iPhone, stay connected, and relive special moments. I have this photo I love as my wallpaper, and now I can continue to enjoy it when I unlock my iPhone because I can arrange my apps and widgets to frame it perfectly. I can select them all and easily place them along the bottom right above the dock for easy access, or even off to the side. And check this out. We have an awesome new look for app icons when we go into dark mode. Let's turn it on. Isn't that cool? Now, in addition to this new dark look, there are even more new ways to adjust how they look. I can bring up a new customization sheet, and now, I can tint them all with color. iOS suggests a tint color that complements my wallpaper. When I swipe from the top right corner, I can see Control Center with all my controls organized in one place. And now Control Center isn't limited to just the controls you see here. I can swipe to multiple new groups of controls, like for media playback. You can see how beautiful this looks. And here are my home controls. These new controls are also available from the lock screen. So you can swap the camera and flashlight for different controls, like taking a note when an idea strikes or quickly capturing the moment for your Snapchat. And you can even use the action button on iPhone 15 Pro to invoke these new controls. So this year, we're giving you a new way to protect sensitive apps and the information inside them by letting you lock an app. When you choose to lock an app, if someone else tries to tap it, they will be required to authenticate using Face ID, Touch ID, or your passcode. And information from inside the app won't appear in other places across the system, like in search and notifications, so others won't inadvertently see sensitive information. Let's start with tapbacks. Tapbacks are one of the most popular ways to express yourself in messages, and people love them. This is a huge year for tapbacks, We've not only redesigned your favorites, we're now giving you limitless ways to express yourself by letting you tap back with any emoji or sticker. Next, we're bringing one of your most requested features to messages. When you don't want to forget to send that friendly reminder or birthday text in the morning, you can schedule your message to send later. We're also giving you more ways to express your tone with text formatting, bold, italicize, underline, or strike through any text. That's iOS 18, a big release that brings deeper customization to iPhone, new ways to stay connected in messages and mail, enhancements to privacy, and the biggest photos redesign ever. This year, we're making it even easier to interact with Siri for a seamless, hands-free experience. For those instances when you may not want to speak out loud in response to Siri, like on the bus to work, or in those places that are a little too crowded, we've created the ability to simply nod your head yes or gently shake your head no to interact. Call from Gam Gam. Answer it? Okay. AirPods are also perfect for staying in touch with friends and colleagues by taking calls anywhere, even in windy conditions or places with loud background noise. So to ensure your voice will sound crystal clear, no matter your environment, we're bringing voice isolation to AirPods Pro. Powered by advanced computational audio, voice isolation removes the background noise around you to deliver the best call quality. Call from David. Answer it? Oh, hey. I was just about to call you. The meeting went so well. Also, sorry, it's really noisy. Can you hear me okay? That's amazing news. And yeah. 
I can hear you totally fine. In watchOS 11, we're introducing Training Load, an insightful way to measure how the intensity and duration of your workouts are impacting your body over time. To track intensity, we design a new way to rate your workouts. Using calorimetry data like heart rate, pace, and elevation, plus your personal data like age and weight, a powerful new algorithm automatically translates our sensor data into an estimate of your effort rating. It can give you a deeper understanding of your body and help you identify when something might be off. So with watchOS 11, these metrics are the foundation of the insightful new Vitals app, where you can check in on your daily health status and explore your most important health metrics with just a glance. You can also see how your metrics relate to your typical range, which is determined from your own historical information and an algorithm developed using real-world data from the Apple Heart Movement Study. For additional insights, your metrics will be highlighted when they're outside of your typical range, with details on what's changed over the last week. And when multiple metrics are out of range, you'll be notified with a tailored message to help you understand how these changes may be linked to other aspects of your life, such as alcohol, elevation changes, or even illness. Let's take a look at updates to SharePlay and Freeform. One of SharePlay's best features is screen sharing. It's a great way to help friends and family from afar, and we're making it better in two ways. Now, you can tap and draw on your screen to point out what they should do on theirs. And if you need to assist more directly, you can ask for permission to remotely control their iPad or iPhone. I'm so excited to show you the new Math Notes experience. I get to it by just tapping the new calculator button right here. And with my Apple Pencil, I'll just start writing out expressions like I would on a piece of paper. As soon as I write an equal sign, Calculator immediately solves it for me and even shows me the results in handwriting like my own. When I make a change, the results update live. And I can go beyond basic math with all of the same functions from the scientific calculator. And that's iPad OS 18, taking the distinct experience of iPad further with a big update to apps that makes navigating easier and more responsive and new ways to work that have been reimagined with Apple Pencil. Welcome to macOS Sequoia. The incredible features we talked about in iOS 18 and iPad OS 18 are going to be amazing for the ways you use Mac. You can be even more expressive in messages Math notes provide a helpful typed experience, and you can easily plan a hike in Maps. These new features are terrific on the Mac, and macOS Sequoia introduces even more features to help you effortlessly get things done. With iPhone mirroring on Mac, I can see what's on my iPhone and can control it too, all while barely lifting a finger. Let me show you how it works. To access my phone, I just click here in my dock, Boom, and there's my iPhone, mirrored in a window right on my Mac. I can fully interact with it, all wirelessly. I can see my custom wallpaper. My icons are right where they belong, and I can use my phone normally, like swiping through pages of my home screen. And I can open any of my iPhone apps, like the Phil's Coffee app for a bit of extra energy for my favorite local coffee shop. It's a big release that uplevels your productivity and creativity. You can quickly tile windows for your ideal workspace. A massive update to Safari helps you browse the web distraction-free. An amazing host of new gaming titles are coming to the Mac. And iPhone mirroring lets you wirelessly use your iPhone right from your Mac. Mac OS joins the announcements across our platforms. And this is a huge year for developers with brilliant new features and APIs coming so they can supercharge their apps and experiences. Developer betas will be available today. Public betas will be available next month, and all of our OS releases will be available to users this fall. Apple Intelligence is the personal intelligence system that puts powerful generative models right at the core of your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. It draws on your personal context to give you intelligence that's most helpful and relevant for you. It protects your privacy at every step, and it is deeply integrated into our platforms and throughout the apps you rely on to communicate, work, and express yourself. 
For example, your iPhone can prioritize your notifications to minimize unnecessary distractions while ensuring you don't miss something important. Apple Intelligence also powers brand new writing tools that you can access system-wide to feel more confident in your writing. Private Cloud Compute allows Apple Intelligence to flex and scale its computational capacity and draw on even larger server-based models for more complex requests while protecting your privacy. These models run on servers we've especially created using Apple Silicon. These Apple Silicon servers offer the privacy and security of your iPhone from the silicon on up, draw on the security properties of the Swift programming language, and run software with transparency built in. When you talk to Siri, you'll notice it's more deeply integrated into the system experience with this elegant glowing light that wraps around the edge of your screen. And you can speak to Siri more naturally, thanks to richer language understanding capabilities. Even if I stumble over my words, Siri understands what I'm getting at. What does the weather look like for tomorrow at Muir Beach? Oh wait, I meant Muir Woods. The forecast is calling for clear skies in the morning near Muir Woods National Monument. Suppose you want a better image for your architectural history course. With ImageWand, you can circle your rough sketch using Apple Pencil to open up an image playground within your note. ImageWand uses on-device intelligence to analyze your sketch and words and creates an image for you. We've all had that time when we thought we got the perfect shot and realized later it wasn't quite perfect. Now, the new cleanup tool will identify distracting objects in the background so you can make them disappear without accidentally changing your subject. We want you to be able to use these external models without having to jump between different tools. So we're integrating them right into your experiences. And we're starting out with the best of these, the pioneer and market leader, ChatGPT from OpenAI. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's have a great WWDC.